I've been looking at footage and images of the Bahamas for the last five years. I have never seen any exceptional moments of Eagle Rays. So part of the beauty of what we do is that we never know what we're going to see. Everything is peeling back the layers of nature and especially in the underwater work we do. We had no idea what we were about to see underwater. When I first descended to the bottom, I could see eagle rays in the distance. I didn't know how they were gonna react. They're very shy, they're very sensitive. They turned and they were coming towards me. And when they passed me, they flew right over me. And they would come in swirling like a tornado, cruising over the seagrass. And it was overwhelmingly beautiful. Eagle rays are part of the shark family, and they are a key indicator species of an ecosystem that is thriving, that is working, that is functioning. And when I was on the bottom quietly sitting with them and I could hear a boat traveling over a speedboat, I would watch how unsettled they would get, how they would be displaced from their habitat and they would head back out into deep water. So now imagine seismic exploration, drilling and blasting and human activities and what that would do to them and their behavior and their populations. It would be devastating for them. They need us to look at a map and say this is the home of the Eagle Rays and draw a line on that map and we need to protect it. And that's the only way to protect Eagle Rays. If you had to come up with an animal that could be listed as the angel of the sea, you probably would choose the eagle ray.